I can't ditch the prom. Marco and I are going together, and he's really been looking forward to this. Didn't the guy have his own prom last year? Yes, but it was incredible, and now he wants mine to be incredible, too. Well, what do you want? Crepe paper and some cheesy emo band? What this? I have to go tonight. All right. Do what you gotta do. Hey, how early can you slip away? If it were up to you, I'd hijack the limo straight to your place. You know you want to. I thought you were okay with this. Are you sure you are? I've got the whole apartment to myself tonight. Jess, I wasn't jealous. Oh, no? Well, you practically bit Ford's head off when he said that he wished that all the girls in his high school were as pretty as me. And when he referred to me as a woman, you basically told him to treat me like a child. Trust me, that, that wasn't jealousy. Well, what would you call it? Look, Ford, he, he's a great roommate. He picks up after himself. He uh, pays the rent on time. Uh, he's hot. <laughs> But you can't judge a book by its, by its cover. Cliché. I don't agree with the way the guy treats women. I would have reacted that way no matter who the guy was hitting on. I was just being protective. That's not what Layla thought. Hey. I hear you have a date for the prom. Yeah, Jessica asked me to go with her. She came by our house last night to let us know. Huh. Well, it'd be nice to think she did that to let Christian know she's moving on, but we both know better. She probably did that to get a rise out of him. But the good news is that you'll be there with Jessica tonight. Yeah, but it could be my last chance. She won't agree to go out with me again. She's not making it easy for you. Uh, the only easy day was yesterday. Seal model, right? Sometimes I forget how much you've been through. I'm not looking for pity. It's not. It's so not. It's just that it's not fair. After everything you went through to be together with Jessica, if anyone can get through to her, it's you. Hope you're right. Because I've just got this one night to make her fall for me all over again. Clint, I'm actually here on family business, so why don't you give me a ring when you're done, okay? No, no, no. We, we are done. We were just wrapping up. Oh. I'd have to join anyway. I have a date tonight. Oh, how nice. Well, it's very nice to meet you, Mr. Wagner. And you, Mrs. Banks. Thank you. So how much time do you plan on spending here in Landview? Well, that depends on how long it takes me to conclude my business here. Kelly, I would like you to meet Sean Evans. Sean, this is my niece, Kelly Kramer. A bodyguard? Pleasure to meet you. I'm very proud of the fact that since I became mayor, the homicide rate has gone down. However, that doesn't change the fact that there is a dangerous killer at large. Okay, I don't need a campaign speech or a chaperone. What you do need is a wake-up call, which I would think it would have been enough for you to find a dead man in your office, a man who you believe was about to tell you who murdered your mother. Okay, I am perfectly safe. I told you, I don't need a stranger babysitting me. Look at the size of the guy. You need him to protect you. I'm not a stranger, by the way. He has worked for me for a long time, and he nearly lost his life saving Star's baby. Sean, I am sure that you are a heck of a guy. There is no negotiation going on here. Do you understand me? This man is your bodyguard until the situation is resolved. Fine. You can start first thing tomorrow. Nice try, but my meter's already ticking. Dorian, can I talk to you for a minute, please? Sure. As sweet as all this is, oh. my dinner reservations are for two, not three. You have a date. Being personal. I just wanted to let you know I'm here. Okay. Uh, um, I, I can get that at my desk. It's okay, I got it. Yeah, McBain. Oh, good. I'll be right down. 